Look at this, fresh hot water, right? Not so much, it smells like rotten eggs. There's something lurking in the hot water tank. It's sulfide buildup. The sacrificial anode is decayed and it needs to be replaced. That buildup happened for us in the past four years with really hard water. I'm using a hose attached to my pressure relief valve to siphon CLR into the tank using a transfer pump. I flushed it three or four times to get all of these crusts out and then removed the lid. This is the part that freaked me out because I couldn't figure out where the anode was. It's the one on the left. Using a 1 and 1 16 head and an impact driver, I was able to loosen it and eventually pull out the sacrificial anode core. I was still running a flush at this point, so letting that stuff drop was okay. There it is, the thing I should have replaced two years ago. I'm replacing it with a Coroprotect. It's an electrified unit rather than using chemistry for the sacrificial anode. So after getting it typed up and inserted, I tightened it down to ensure that there was no leaking. When that's completed, you then have to wire ground to ground and the hot lead to the pin on the back of the unit. I went ahead and snaked the wires up through the lid and turned on the pressure. Open a tap to let out the bubbles. Once the water tank is fully filled up, go ahead and plug in the core protect, flip on your breaker, and wait for the hybrid hot water heaters to boot up. This part might take a little bit of time. If you get this error code, it's not an error. It just indicates that the water is really cold. And that's it, you're done. Fresh hot water. I want to be clear. If you are an actual plumber and you saw this and I did something dramatically wrong, please let me know in the comments. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to edit this together, but if I get to this point and I haven't said it already, thank you for watching. I don't put out videos very frequently. I'm not one of those people. I wouldn't mind being that, but I can't afford it time-wise. This project took probably four or five hours. It should have taken less than that, but I was recording the video and I had to run to the store to pick up those sockets that I didn't have. You know, if you're going to do this yourself, totally doable. Also, if you are doing these core protect ones, I am not a spokesperson for them. I saw some dude on YouTube talking about them and I've been researching for like three years now. And it just felt like it was something that I got enough feedback, not just that one YouTube video, but enough feedback from people that I talked to where the, the science behind it made sense to me. And so that's on now. And I'm hoping that'll make me not have to run a new sacrificial anode every couple of years as our water is so, you know, rough.